science is established that something is affecting this energy. When people become ill, something affects this energy. And I genuinely believe that what affects the energy more, more so, is our stress levels. There's no big secret. Our stress levels. Now, whether that's stress at birth for a child, stress in the womb, whether it's somebody who's reared in a stressful home, whether it's a stressful job, you know, whether it's a stressful relationship, <clears throat> stressful working, whatever. Something imbalances the energy system of the body. Something alters that electrical frequency of the body. <coughs> and the natural pathway in resolving our ill health issues, we go to our GP, nothing wrong with that, I work with many members of the medical profession, nothing wrong with that, you go and you have a diagnosis and you take medication. That's all fine. Until you suddenly realize the medication doesn't work. Until you suddenly realize that, well, your situation is go home and live with it, die with it. And this, is, this is the way it is. You know, your pain can't be alleviated or your, your inflammation can't be reduced or your depressive symptoms can't be uh, relieved or rectified or, you know, your digestive disorder can't be healed. You know, your back pain can't be rectified. You know, your swelling of your joints and inflammation of your joints can't be recovered. Well, nothing could be farther from the truth because if we were really able to open up to the real science fact about how we function, well, then technically we have the ability to heal ourselves literally of anything but there's a huge challenge and the challenge is you know to give that information to people to get people to trust in that that's the huge challenge <clears throat>